Hi, good day everyone. This video is about operations on functions. So I have a different set of functions and let's try to perform operations. Okay, so I have f of x as x plus 3, p of x as 2x minus 7, v of x as x squared plus 5x plus 4, g of x as x squared plus 2x minus 8, h of x as x plus 7 over 2 minus x, and we have x minus 2 over x plus 3 as our last function t of x. So let's try to solve some problems and let's try to use this given set of um, operations. Alright, so let's say we are asked to add functions, okay? So for addition, okay, let's say we have this given problem. Let's say we have b plus g of x. Now, what is the concept of adding or addition of functions okay so we have b plus g of x that means okay this notation means we need to add the contents of b of x or the function b okay to the contents of our second function which is function g right so just add those functions or their contents and by simply combining like terms and simplifying it so therefore, it will give us, again, number one, we have this contents of function b, which is, according to our given problem, we have x squared plus 5x plus 4. Okay? We need to add this to our second function, which is function g, or the contents of g, which is equals to x squared plus 2x minus 8. Right. So we have this given expression this time. Here's our step number one again. So after you identified your contents, just combine the like terms. Okay? So we need to combine like terms. Now, what do you mean by like terms? Alright, so like terms are terms with same variable with same exponent. Okay, again, like terms are just terms with same variable and same exponent. So that means for this given problem, we have x squared and another x squared as our like term. Also, we also have 5x as our linear term and another 2x and we have the constants as 4 and negative 8. So let's add those values. So if you want to rewrite this given expression, it will give us x squared. Okay, so it will give us x squared plus x squared, right? Next is plus 5x, so always copy their preceding sign. So we have plus 5x plus 2x. And for the constant, we have plus 4 plus negative 8. So always copy your preceding term or sign. Now, let's simplify. x squared plus x squared. The answer is 2x squared. Okay? 5x plus 2x, that is equals to 7x. And we have 4 plus negative 8, that is actually equals to negative 4. So the answer for this first problem, if you want to add function b and g, so the answer is 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. Okay, this is our final answer. Right? So again, for step number 2, just simplify. Okay, just combine like terms and simplify. Now, um, let's try to answer another set of problem. Let's say we have this given function. Let's say we're asked to add um, function f or f plus h of x. Okay? So again, what do you mean by f plus h of x? That means we need to add, simply add the contents of function f, okay, and the contents of our second function, which is function h. Now, let's identify their contents. So, for function f, I have x plus 3, okay, and we need to add this to the contents of function h, which is x plus 7 all over 2 minus x. Right. So, this time, dear students, um, as you observe, it looks like we are um, we need to add um, a whole number to a fraction, okay? Because we have here this rational expression. Now, same procedure if you want to add um, this kind of um, terms, a fraction a whole number, just identify, number one, is just to identify their LCD, okay? So, obviously, dear students, um, if we have x plus 3, so we have this invisible denominator as 1. So, let's try to identify what will be the LCD of this given problem. So for the LCD, obviously, our LCD here is, again, just observe their denominators. So the value of our LCD here is 2 minus x. Okay, so let's use 2 minus x as our new denominator. 
Now, what will happen or how to um, solve this one? So just um, write to minus x and perform this um, set of rules. So number one is to divide the LCD to our first denominator. So we have invisible one as our first denominator here. So divide this. We have 2 minus x divided by 1. The answer is 2 minus x. And multiply the answer to its corresponding numerator. Therefore, it will give us 2 minus x times our numerator, which is x plus 3. Alright? And do the same thing, okay, to our second term. So for our second term, we need to divide our LCD to our second denominator so 2 minus x divided by 2 minus x the answer is 1 and multiply it to, our, to its corresponding numerator so it will give us positive 1 times x plus 7 or as is x plus 7 okay and just simplify this one okay so we have this set of values so we have 2 minus x times x plus 3 plus x plus 7 all over 2 minus x or uh, our, our LCD. So just distribute the value, okay? Just simplify this. It will give us 2 times x and 2 times 3. It will also have negative x times x and negative x times 3. So just apply FOIL method or distribute the terms, okay? Each term. So um, it will give us that is equals to, let's um, simplify, 2 times x, that is 2x. 2 times positive 3 that is positive 6 okay next we also have 2 times x okay or sorry that is um negative x times x okay that is equals to negative x squared and we have negative x times 3 which is negative 3x equals to negative 3x right so after that just copy the remaining term which is x plus 7 and also copy our LCD which is 2 minus x okay after that just simplify this given expression just combine like terms if we have like terms and copy our denominator so um, we have these like terms as I think we have 2x okay we have negative 3x and another value of x and for the constant we have 6 and 7 so let's combine those values so if you want to rewrite this one it will give us 2x minus 3x plus x okay and we have minus x squared okay so we have minus x squared and we have the constants as positive 6 plus 7 right and that is all over our LCD which is 2 minus x right so let's simplify this set of values so 2x minus 3x that is negative x plus x it will give us 0 so that is equal to 0 and copy the remaining values so we have negative x squared now 6 plus 7 okay that is equal to 13 so that is plus 13 all over 2 minus x all right so 0 minus x squared that is um 0 automatically we will remove that value therefore the answer for this given problem okay i will zoom this out so the answer for this given situation or problem it will give us negative x squared plus 13 all over 2 minus x Okay, and that value will serve as our final answer. Or if you want to remove okay, the negative sign for this given problem, so just multiply the entire expression to negative. Okay, or th this one will give us x squared minus 13 okay, all over 2 minus x. Okay, and that is our um, find the answer for this given expression. All right. So this time, um, let's try to subtract. Okay, let's try to subtract um functions. So same with addition. Um, we will apply the same concept. Let's try to solve this. Let's say we are asked to subtract p. Okay. So wait. I will zoom this one. 
so we have let's say we have p um, minus f of h or, or x okay p minus f of x now same procedure so this one means we need to subtract the contents of function p right to the contents of function f so we have f of x now let's list down their values okay or their corresponding um, value so we have p of x as 2x minus 7 so we have 2x minus 7 we need we need to subtract this to the contents of function f which is um we have x plus 3 okay f is x plus 3 so same with addition there students just combine like terms so for this given problem we have um, this linear term 2x and another x value okay and we have these constants as negative 7 and positive 3 so if you want to rewrite this one so it will give us um, 2x minus x and we have negative 7 just copy negative 7 always include their preceding sign minus 3 okay just simplify or combine like terms we have 2x minus x that is equals to x and we have negative 7 minus 3 that is equals to negative 10 so we have x minus 10 and that was that one will serve as our final answer for this given problem okay just combine the like terms and simplify it okay so that is for subtraction now um this time let's proceed to multiplication okay so let's um proceed to multiplication multiply Right, so let's um, let's say we have this given problem. Um, let's say we have f times p of x. Okay, let's say we have f of uh, f times p of x again. That is same with this um one. So this is actually um equals to f or function f times okay the contents of function p or p of x. So let's multiply their values. Okay, so what are the values or the contents of function f? So again, that is equals to x plus 3. Let's multiply this one to the contents of function p, which is 2x minus 7. Okay? That is function p. So as you observe your students, we have here this um, set of binomials. So just um, apply a um, foil method for this one. Okay? So this that is um, first outside, inside, last. Or um, just multiply each term to the terms uh, of our given <coughs> expression so that means if we have this we have x times x okay so we have x times 2x <coughs> that is equals to um, 2x squared next we have x times negative 7 so it will give us negative 7x okay next for the next term we have 3 times 2x or yes we have 3 times 2x okay that is equals to 6x so plus 6x and our last term we have 3 times negative 7 which is equals to negative um, 21 so we have negative 21 after that just simplify this given expression okay so just combine like terms so we have this term and this term so just combine those terms therefore it will give us 2x squared Okay, and negative 7x plus 6x, that is actually equals to negative x or negative 1. So negative x and copy the remaining negative 21. So this one will serve as our final answer. Okay, so just multiply each term, right? So next, let's proceed to division. Okay, and let's try to answer this given problem. Let's say we are asked to divide let's say we have b over g of x okay so same procedure dear students um this one means this actually equals to the function v okay or the contents of function v we need to divide this to the contents of function g or g of x right so if you want to rewrite this one so the contents of function v we have um we have this x squared plus 5x plus 4 all over function g which is x squared plus 2x minus 8 right this time 
um, it's up to you if you want to simplify this one okay so um, we are allowed to factor this one or this value okay will serve as our final answer now this time let's try to simplify this given expression right so let's um, factor out each um, numerator and denominator and let's try to cancel the same factors so again um, let's apply factoring for this one okay this is actually equals to x times x and we have this constant as 4 we need to think of um, two set of numbers where if you want to multiply those number the answer is our constant which is 4 and if you want to add those numbers the answer will be our midterm or 5 so I think that is positive 4 and positive 1 okay so let's try to double check if that is the correct fa um, factor so we have 4 times 1 yes the answer is 4 and 4 plus 1 yes the answer is 5 so we have this appropriate factor next let's factor out our denominator okay so again this is x and times x so for this given problem we have 8 as our constant so what are the factors of 8 and if you wa want to add those numbers um we have this midterm or positive 2 so let's try to use let's say we have um, negative or positive 4 okay and negative 2 let's try to double check this one positive 4 and negative 2 okay so we have 4 times negative 2 that is negative 8 all right so good and we have 4 plus negative 2 the answer is positive 2 so we have this correct set of factor now since we have this given expression so it will allow us to cancel out like terms or same factors so as you observe we have x plus 4 and another x plus 4 therefore the remaining value will be x plus 1 all over x minus 2 and that um, one will serve as our final answer alright so that's the entire concept of operations um, on functions so we are allowed to add, subtract, multiply, and divide functions uh, with use of these following procedures. So thank you so much, dear students, and God bless.